You're gonna go in that way? That's fine. Wait, what'd you say? Blast off? Okay. <laughs> hey crew, this Audi R7 is designed to be an ultimate blend of performance and livability. So I wondered, how much living could you do in an R7 performance? I'm gonna give myself 24 hours to find out, and yes, that does mean I'll be sleeping in it. <laughs> And there it is, just about noon. The 24 hours start now. And the first act of living with the R7 performance is making sure it fits in my driveway, which is 16 feet wide by 19 and a half feet long. And the R7 is parked just a couple inches in from the edge, sitting next to my very wide 23 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170. And I didn't even park it right at the edge of the driveway. So this isn't gonna make it easy for the RS7 to walk in between. I also have the R7 parked right about at the beginning of the gutter in front of my driveway, walking between the cars, just about one person's gonna fit. I tried to wheel our double stroller through, no luck. And at the back of the RS7, I actually have a good bit of room here, I can walk between the hedge and the back of the car, and it's got another three feet before it gets to the garage door. Now getting inside the RS7, I do have the key fob here in my pocket, and that allows me to use the smart keyless entry, so I can just put my hand on the handle, either the back door or the front, and that's gonna open it up. I can go one defined notch of the door, but I can't go two notches before touching my Demon 170. So this is my access point, and it does mean I have to contort a little bit to slink inside, but the R7 is not too low, not too much knee angle required, and now it doesn't require much effort to close the door because I've got the soft close function. Hey, cabin crew, let's fire up the R7. Ooh. You hear some throatiness of the V8 before the startup chimes start, and I want to hear the idle from outside. Gosh, that is restrained. No one is gonna be disturbed by that. In other words, you're just gonna stay friends with everyone in your neighborhood. Okay, back inside the RS7. Let's talk about cabin storage, especially as it relates to livability. Things you'll always have with you. Key fob. Thankfully, there is a slot right here in between the cup holders, very convenient for people who lose them, like myself. Inside the console, I've got my smartphone on the wireless charging pad and actually, two pairs of sunglasses because my wife left hers in the car. Thanks, honey. In the door pocket, I've got my GoPro accessories, which fit pretty neatly into that cubby, and I have my wallet underneath those. Now, my large water bottle couldn't fit in any other cubby except for the other door pocket, but it also is kind of held there precariously, and I wanted it on the passenger side just in case it does come out, doesn't go underneath the pedals while I'm driving enthusiastically, which is the first thing on my agenda today. Now getting out of my driveway, down goes the e-brake. I have actually moved the curb ramps I typically place there for low sports cars so you don't scrape anything on the nose, but the clearance of the R7 is gonna be just fine to make it down that gutter without any issues. If the R7 is made for a life of practical, speed, then I do need to see the speed. So here in the RS drive mode. Oh, heavens. So that's what 621 horsepower feels like. I just, I want another quick taste. <laughs> and that's what 627 pound feet of torque feel like. Quite the rush. I would want to do that often and would quickly run out of real estate, but not today. Today I've got plenty. <laughs> Should we try it from a dig? Call this one your stoplight simulator. If you had a race box at your average stoplight. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do a real world zero to 60 test here with launch control. It's ready. 
Okay. 3.06 seconds to 60. Fear me, average citizens. Simulation number two. Let's say you were on a canyon road on your drive home and there was just a sports car that was on your butt and you felt threatened. Yeah, yeah, it had nothing to do with ego. You just, you felt threatened and you need to put some distance between you and that car for safety. Could you in the R7 performance? Let's find out. Yeah, we knew the straight line was there. Oh, goodness. And the cornering. The brakes are strong. Turn in is quick. It's just a point and rocket out of the corners. All wheel drive system gets the power down. Feel incredibly stable. Yeah, those brakes can scrub that speed. Well, what happened to that sports car? Disappeared. Why am I still going fast then? Guess I'm having fun. Definitely having fun. But this is all purely a simulation for safety. Definitely all about being as safe as possible, making sure no one's gonna tailgate you. That's what this is about. <laughs> I can have fun while being safe. I can do that. Well, well, uh, I would say the performance of this Audi R7 performance is well enough established, certainly. Now on to the livability. Oh, this is great. It's only two. I've got plenty of time to take my daughter to the park. To do that, I am gonna need to install her car seat and to make sure it would work with both kids in, I'll put her car seat behind my driver's seat. There are lower latch anchor points here and these plastic covers come right off to make sure I don't lose them. I'll stick them here in the door. Now to get to work. Here we go, getting it in is not a problem and it's rear facing. So it's gonna be positioned like that and I'm actually gonna have room. Won't even need to move my seat. Let's get it locked in. Okay, that is tightened up. Now to get her loaded okay. up. Oh, you're gonna go in that way? That's fine. Wait, what'd you say? Blast off? Okay. <laughs> what do you think of the RS7? <laughs> That's what you think of it? You think it's funny? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Because I just don't like it. You don't like it? I do like it. You do like it. Okay. Why do you like it? This is so fast. But it's also practical, right? It's a, it's a race a race car yeah. it's pretty much as fast as a race car yeah yep here at the park ready to go play yeah okay let's do it well that was a lot of time in the sun did you have fun yeah, yeah. should we go get a snack yeah. yeah and then go to Costco Yeah. now since we got here a lot of other cars have parked around us so when I go in reverse I'm gonna rely on the high-res camera situation get the backup view the bird's eye view but I have some other angles that are even more helpful, like this wide angle camera to see vehicles around those parked right next to me, including this super long truck. So after this person maneuvers their way out, I can make sure no kiddos are running by or anything like that as I make my departure. All right, we made it to our snack spot, Nectar Juice Bar. Excited? Just me. Another snack? Well, it's a good thing Costco has samples. That's what samples are for. It's going to be a moderate haul from Costco today. Let's see how it fits in the back of the RS7. And I wish there was a kick sensor to open this thing, but alas, I have to pull out the key fob or hit the button on the underside. 
And it is a lift back, so that's gonna make it real easy to load in our stuff. Let's see how we do. Wow, <laughs> there is so much space back here that just as a demonstration, I pushed everything just to the left side of the area. It's not even coming to the halfway mark. This is crazy. And it fits. And the world's best helper is coming with me to return the cart. But you're, you can't, you're coming with me. Let's go. And that is what you call a Costco success story in the RS7. And at 6 p.m., the day is winding down here, but I'm not quite finished yet with the life in the RS7. I have a date night planned. Oh, you look ravishing, my dear. Thank you. Oh, yeah, allow me to get your door, please. Oh, yes. Oh, this is different. Mm -hmm. Are you chauffeuring me? You're chauffeuring me. Is that the surprise? Up. Allow me to join you. Why? We're having dinner here. In the car. <laughs> no, we're not. We're doing life in the RS7. Why? Allow me to set the mood for you. Set the mood? Just wait. Take forever. Kill the mood. I guess I'll just enter. Hey, myself. Nothing says ambiance like a candle <laughs> and we have that some... looks dangerous no it's fine we have some additional ambiance provided by the car a journey mm. of ambient lighting oh you're passionate about that i am okay. you can barely see it right now because of this <laughs> giant light in our faces but that's great it's there okay now the moon mm. is set okay how often let me ask you is your dining experience graced by your own zone of climate never this is the first time. Yes. Yeah. And is it good? Do you like that? Do you, would you like me to adjust it? Are you too warm? Uh, that, that's really hot. Putting my hand over the candle. I would Single. like to sit at a restaurant with like, a, you know, the heaters that they have outside. That's like a really This is nice, better. This is personalized. The heaters are for everyone. Really this nice is for ambiance. you. Okay. Also for you is your own USB-C port. Do you need to charge your device? To call an Uber to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insulted. Allow me to bring your meal we're paying the babysitter to sit in our driveway yes and have dinner yes did you think that through no okay but wait oh your dinner oh, thank is you. served wow and pardon the reach quite the experience cup holders four 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 score your grapefruit sparkling water let me <laughs> Get delicious. out of it's here. It's delicious. You're going to enjoy that. You're going to need to move your tray. We drink these every night, yes. so I know I'll enjoy okay, you, it. Okay, you go ahead and do that. I got the rest. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> May I join you? Ow. I've forgotten my beverage. There we are. Lemon for me. Are you using that. this voice? Hold that for one. I don't know. Hold that on for one day. moment. Salsa? Impressive. Thank you. So you will be okay. eating this evening the finest carnitas from a... Did you slow cook them? They were heated up from a Costco pouch. <laughs> okay. From earlier today. This broccoli... But you made it. You made it, actually. I actually made it. Bon appetit. Oh, delicious. Oh. You didn't touch your food. Yeah. Not yet. May I? I... Okay, so you didn't appreciate the savory. Would I you prefer something it. sweeter? Will I get to eat it? Yes. Yes, of course. I'll fetch it for us. Don't trouble yourself. Should I tell the babysitter to go home? Save us some money. Oh. Well, I'm feeling a little bit unappreciated for that dinner that I worked tirelessly to reheat. But the frustration is quickly evaporating in this R7 here, driving it at night. Get my massage going. The mood lighting is just right. The ride quality is sublime. Even on these 22-inch wheels, I feel very relaxed. Oh, and did I mention I've got night vision? Not sure how often I'll use that in suburbia, but hey, it's it's pretty cool. There's our favorite sweet spot. Somi Somi. I'm in business. I've got my black sesame and ube soft serve and a cheddar and Nutella taiyaki. She's gonna love it. Don't eat her taiyaki. Don't do it, don't eat it, don't do it. She's gonna be so upset. Oh, finally ready for bed. But uh, 
I won't be staying inside my own house. No, I'll be staying at Chateau RS7. So, let's make it more comfortable. Now that's more like it. I've got a super thick mattress topper to sleep on, a fluffy pillow, soft blankets. I'm gonna crawl inside here, make sure my alarm is set, close up the hatch. And it's off to bed. Good night. Well, I did it. Uh, slept in the back of the R7. Actually, it was fine. Far from this. Oh, now I gotta get ready for my men's Bible study. Carefully. You know, while I wouldn't recommend it as a lifestyle per se, as a six foot adult, I was pretty comfortable sleeping in the back of the RS7, except for the headroom situation. So if in a pinch you, uh, you went to a track and you needed to sleep at the racetrack overnight, or let's just say your wife is upset at you for eating her dinner and her dessert, you could sleep in the back of the RS7. And there we are. Oh, look at that, right on time. But to be fair, it's, it's always a good time to talk about God. And, oh, thanks Audi R7. That was awesome, as it always is. Uh, you know what, after the group, I was thinking, you know, I've got all these guys here. Why not try to put them in the R7? Ooh. You're gonna get to see me wear. <laughs> oh, it's so cozy. You wanna see me wear a camera on my head? Oh, nice. Like that? Sweet. Oh, look, yeah, I've seen this. This is how the bacon is made, everyone. Everyone comfy? Cozy? Terrific. So. You white, guys white definitely cozy. look cozy it's like, back it's like there. It's worthy. Let's go. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's a good question. Do you think you could sit like that for a drive to Vegas, which is four hours for folks who are tuning in who don't uh, know the distance from here? Could I mean, as, as long as the people you're sitting next to aren't like the smelliest, then I feel like you're because. Their armpits are quite close to my face. I was gonna say, how are the pits? The, uh, are the pits are they fresh? Nice? Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's pretty it's early in the nice. morning. It's early if you, in the drive. If you, got <laughs> some, if you got some dirty pits at this hour, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it's a problem. What's the legroom situation for you guys like in the back? The legroom's not bad, actually. Not yeah, bad, especially uh, the guy up in shotgun's like 6'8", so. <laughs> <laughs> still got plenty of yeah, are you kids. stretched out, Mike? You're no, comfortable? I'm, not, I'm, I'm reasonably comfortable. Yeah, right? back angle all right? Yeah. I'm pretty surprised, honestly, like, how okay I, I am feeling, because even though I'm tight with, with y'all, I, I, I'm cozy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're used to being coddled by Nick, so. <laughs> oh, constantly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How are all you viewers out there? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> if we were working together, we ran out to get coffee or something, you could deal with this. Totally work. Oh, oh, yeah. That's uh, fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Good. I, I feel like that's what we should go do now. I mean. That, yeah, well. Yeah. I think we should get breakfast burritos. Yeah, yeah, I feel, that feels <laughs> so, right. So yeah. it's comfortable, we've established that, but how do you feel about the speed? Let's find out. Oh, Holy oh, cow! Yeah. Oh my gosh. yeah, that'll hit it, oh that'll hit it. <laughs> it goes. Car full of guys, the R7 is still fast. <laughs> so breakfast burritos? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Let's get it. Oh gosh! They left me. At least the burrito's good. And now that I'm refueled, it's time to top up this 19.3 gallon tank in the RS7. And as an owner, that's something you may spend a lot of your life doing because though the EPA rates the RS7 at 14 MPG in the city, 22 highway and 17 combined, I've been seeing over the last 105 miles, 11.2 miles per gallon. And to fill this tank with 91 octane fuel that this vehicle requires at $5.47 a gallon would cost me 105 bucks. But is there redemption for the RS7? Is there capless fueling? There is, oh my goodness, save me the time. So I'm gonna do this so very often. Well, crew, as we approach noon and my 24 hours of packed living with and 
and in the R7 performance come to a close, I wanna recap here because I really tried to stretch the practicality of this R7 during my time with it, even beyond how most people are going to use this car because most people are just gonna end up on the highway a lot as I'm doing right now and it's gonna crush. It's quiet, it's smooth, you've got adaptive cruise control, you've got steering assistance, it's gonna do this kind of stuff really well. But if you had to sleep in it, you could do that too and everything in between. Then there's the performance. <laughs> Which is just monumental. And it looks good and it sounds good. It's something you can be proud of, really. There are only a couple things I didn't love about living with the R7, including the fuel economy, which, yes, if you are going to be exploring, as you should, what the R7 can do, you're going to be paying for it, literally, at the pump. And though they didn't say it when they were in the car, the guys and I had a debrief after, and they were telling me, the headroom in that second row isn't terrific. And anecdotally, my wife and I have hit our heads on that low roof line a number of times getting in and out. Then, down lower, the side sills of the RS7. They happen to be at the perfect Achilles heel height, such that I have jabbed my Achilles heel on them quite a few times over the last just 24 hours. Those things could become a bit tedious, but the overwhelming impression is you would love to live with the RS7 performance. And certainly for longer than 24 hours. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next time.